They hate I'm getting to the guap, ayy. Stack the money, pick out, yeah. They hate I'm getting to the guap, ayy. Stack the money, pick out, yeah. They hate I'm getting to the guap, ayy. Stack the money, pick out, yeah. They hate I'm getting to the guap, ayy. Stack the money, pick out, yeah. What's happening? It's Joy Papers Visionary Art Group. Feature proof in America. One YouTube video at a time. Twixter. I'm going to show y'all how I use Twixter, implement it in music videos. If you don't know what Twixter is, Twixter is a plugin that helps you get super, super, super slow mo. All right, almost Matrix like. You know what I mean? You ever see Matrix Neo moving in the Matrix? Everything slowed down, bullet time. That's what Twixter is. Go into YouTube, search up Twixter. You'll see the many, 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 many examples of it. Um, I use it in a music video setting sometimes. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that. I got my man Shorty G SG13 music video I just did. Is uh probably be dropping them um, in a few days, but I use Twixter on a couple instances in this video. Here's one of them. Pick out, yeah, the head I'm getting to the guap, ayy. Stack the money, pick out, yeah, the head I'm getting to the Alright, here's another example of it in the video. Pick out, yeah, the head I'm getting to the guap, ayy. Stack the money, pick out, yeah. Alright, and all I'm doing is using Twixter to go from a fast motion to a slow motion, but from fast to super, super slow motion. And you can see him moving in like a matrix light type slow mo. And I also use it from, I go from slow mo to fade out. So pretty much I phase it out from the slow motion, phase out into another scene. So it, it, it's a crazy effect, man. So pretty much all you have to do is have Twixter installed. It is a plug-in. You got to get it off the internet. Sorry, you guys. But once you get Twixter and it's get it installed on your, your uh, software, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. Once you get it installed, it's fairly simple. It's the same way as using keyframes on Adobe Premiere Pro with any other plug-in. All right? So all you have to do is take Twixter, take it, and drag it on the clip you want to slow down. And um, pretty much keyframe from there. Me personally, I like using uh five percent speed. I leave everything default, and uh, I just only thing I adjust is the speed. Go to output control, keyframe your speed. And right here, if I zoom in, you see I have two keyframes, and pretty much those keyframes are just right behind each other. So if I was to let it play straight out. Set the money, pick out. Yeah, the head I'm getting to the guap. Set the money, pick out. Yeah, the head I'm getting to the guap. That's the clip, but I wanted to slow down. Money, pick out. I wanted to slow down. Right here. I wanted to slow down right here. All right, so I find the part I wanted to slow down on, and pretty much just I go back one frame. So I'm gonna hit the arrow on my keyboard. Go back one frame and I'll set my keyframe right here. And I go back to the part I want to slow down. One back to one keyframe forward. And I'll just put that on five. Five percent. And that's pretty much it. Twixter will do the rest. You can adjust these frame settings. Motion weighted blend. That will help you with the motion uh motion blur from the motion blur from the motion. And I mean that's pretty much it, man. The plugin will do all the work for you. So that's just how I use Twixter, man. Get it? It's a dope plugin. My advice is, it works best on footage that's 30 frames per second and above. You know, 24 percent, 24 frames per second, it works good. But you want it to work even better. 30 frames or higher so if you don't shoot in slow-mo this right here could help you out a little bit you just have to play with the settings to make it look how you want it look so it's twister man it's joy papers visionary art group future proof in america one youtube video at a time peace